Hey guys, welcome to the final part, uh, part three of the installation where I wear, um, where I, sorry, where I wire everything up and uh, finish up everything, button it up and uh, end of the install and enjoy my subs. So yeah, sorry, this is dirty. This is what happens when you have pets. So uh, first thing is I want to wire my subs. So I'm going to use uh, some speaker wire and uh, run from a positive negative of the subs to the positive negative of the amp and uh, I did not run a remote wire to the amp be because this one does come with smart engage which means it should turn on by itself when it senses audio coming in from the RCA cables and turn itself off uh, when it doesn't sense anything not sure if it's gonna work out very well since it is a used uh, amp and sub so uh, yeah, let's wire everything up and if it doesn't work, well, I'm going to run a remote wire up to my fuse in the front. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measure out a length from my subs up here to the speakers to down here, which is about this, which is about this much. Alright, so all this excess can go back in the box. Once that's done, you want to strip this off. And put the positive with the positive, negative with the negative, and run it up to the amp. Alright guys, so once you have your speaker wire uh, wired in properly, from your sub to your amplifier. Uh, this one has a two channel output. So what I did is I I mounted the positive on the, so you see, I don't know if you can see here, there's like two positive and two negative. So what I did is the first one is on the, uh, the sorry, the positive went on the first positive and the negative went on the uh, second negative here. And uh, next is you wanna, you wanna wire your RCA cables. And as you can see on the sub here, the red is, the right and the black one is the left uh, I don't know if you can see it right here alright so the black one is going to go to the left and uh, the red one which is right alright so once that's done you want to run this to the front of your um, your radio output if not like for my car is I put a line out converter right here so I am going to run this behind the input is behind you can see I hope you can see right there those are my RCA so I'm going to take my RCA's and uh, as we remember black is left and uh, the red is right gonna plug it in like this all right guys so to ground uh, my amplifier I found a ground right here as you can see with some uh, with all the ground for uh, my lights in the back so I am going to ground it there and uh, hopefully manage to run the wire through through this uh, side and uh, bring it out there so I can go into the amp it's not easy man when you live in Canada <laughs> And you want to get things done in winter. Oh, the w ground might not be long enough. Oh, fuck. Okay, so uh, I believe, yeah, this the ground is definitely not long enough. So I'll probably take one of the old wires because I did buy this used and it came with uh, existing, uh, existing wires already. So what I might do, but even though these wires are really shitty, uh, I might have to use that or I'll see if I can find a ground somewhere closer and I'll update you guys with uh, what I'm gonna end up doing all right guys so before I try to find my ground what I'm gonna do is uh, power up the positive wire uh, to my amp and uh, once I have this wired in here uh, I believe one of these two I'll find a spot for uh, for uh, 
the ground. So let's get to it. How much do I need? I need about this much. Sorry guys, the angle might be a bit weird. Alright, got it, now we go get my allen key, so a good idea would be to twist these wires. Oh well, would you look at that, wow. Okay, so I just found a ground over here, which I have no idea. I think it's for my fuel pump, is it? Yeah, it is for my fuel pump. All right, so uh, I'm going to ground it with the one on my fuel pump. Hopefully, hopefully uh, my fuel pump doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, so let's do that next. All right, guys. Now what I'm going to do is remove my bolt here of uh, the ground for the fuel pump and uh, wire in this ground and uh, and uh, plug it into the amp and uh, that's gonna be it hopefully hopefully I don't have to run a remote wire if not that would suck so yeah this is it for now I'm gonna I'm just gonna wire this real quick and uh, yeah update you guys next so as you can see I got my uh, ground wire grounded now I'm just going to strip some off and uh, plug it into my amp and uh, we should be done. Right, so everything is wired in. Hopefully the smart engage is uh, auto turn on for the amp. I hope so. So let me go ahead and uh, play a music. Okay, so that is not working. Well, guess what? I fucked up. Congratulations, you played yourself. I realize I fucked up, guys. I officially fucked up. Don't ever play yourself. So, um, I'm gonna have to run a remote turn on and uh, see if it's working. So I got my remote wire um, plugged in. And now I'm just going to do a little test to see that it's really because of the remote wire and not because I got screwed and uh, bought a fucked up uh, amp. So I'm just going to put this into the power wire and see if it turns on. Oh, it is working. Oh my god. So I am going to run my remote wire to the front and uh, I do plan on adding a remote base knob which could be plugged in right here. So uh, I am going to do that and uh, be done with it. I'm going to be back uh, once this is done. Alright guys, so as you may or may not see, the subs are in. Everything is wired up. You know what? Let me turn on the light. Alright. Much better. So, everything's wired. Uh, sub is all set up. Now, all that's left is to test it out. Play some song. Oh. Forgive me, because only my right side fingerprint is registered. Oh my god. 
All right, so here we are, gonna pump some classic Lil Wayne, Amelie. There we go. All right, so I got one more song I want to start out. By the way, let me pause the song here. Just to let you guys know, the, the gain, bass boost, everything is on the lowest setting I could. It's not at its full capacity because I did not want to clip my subs and ended up, end up blowing them and catching, making them catch on fire. So I am going to go get a professional tune and um, I don't know when I'm going to go get that. So once I do have it professionally tuned, I'll make another video and update you guys on the difference it made and uh, whatnot. So I have another song I want to try out and that is I Put On by Young Jeezy. So um, let's try that. <laughs> you guys liked uh, those three parts I did on the installation and uh, like I said I'll, I'm gonna get it professionally tuned and once that's done I'll make an update video on uh, how it turned out and everything so uh, peace out <laughs>